All right, thanks for staying with us. Boko Haram, in waging its war against uh, the Nigerian state, has repeatedly targeted defenseless school children, killing, maiming, and abducting. The terrorists continue to leave uh, many in fear. Now, the Chibok attack of April 2014 is still fresh in the minds of Nigerians, where more than 200 sc uh, secondary school girls were abducted from their school, with some of them still in captivity. But again, news of a similar attack filtered in, in on February the 19th when Boko Haram in a similar fashion abducted 110 girls from the Government Girls Science and Technical College in Dapchi, Yobe State. Even as we await the safe return of the Chibok school girls, Defense Minister Mansur Dang Ali is assuring Nigerians of the safe return of the Dapchi school girls. Yes, indeed. And Dan Ali says the government is seriously working on the release of the girls and with available intelligence uh, to the military, it could be sooner than later. As a matter of fact, he put a date to it. He said in a week or two, mm. confidently, that uh, the girls will return. Mm. Well, we're joined by uh, uh, public affairs analyst Kola Wale Johnson, who is, of course, uh, joining Charles Ideho, uh, both gentlemen. Good morning to you again. Good morning. Charles, good, good morning. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. for uh, Thank staying you. with us. Yeah. Okay, so um, our hopes have been raised with this statement coming from the Defense Minister, Dan Ali, that the girls will be back in two weeks. And some are already reading a whole lot of meanings to it. Some are saying there's something fishy going on here. <laughs> or, okay, um, is this a plan to uh, score some kind of uh, cheap political point? That's coming from opposition. What's your take on this statement? Should this statement have even come in the first place? Should I have a take? Yes, mm. please. First, I think I'd like to summarize uh, the general take. You look at how the story developed, and you may probably by yourself draw a conclusion. Before you can say, this is my take, look at the narratives. First, the girls were kidnapped in a school that is in an area with a terrible security challenges. And the operation did not last for five minutes, for 10 minutes, for 20 minutes. The operation lasted for, it, you can't kidnap 110 girls in a matter of five, 10 minutes. Mm. And that is supposed to be an, an area that, that is heavily militarized because of the Boko Haram insurgency. Yeah. Now, if that operation took place for such a long time and there was no uh, 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 cover up by the military, and after the attack, nobody went after them, at least immediately. Mm. Now, you also know that the first 48 hours after such uh, an attack or abduction is about the most, I mean, it's about the most uh, 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 relevant you have for any hope. Now, some hours later, the state government came out to say, oh, about 80 of those girls have been found. Have been found. And hours later, they some assaulted, not because they wanted to, because the parents cried out, no, we've not seen our children. Mm. They said, oh, sorry, people, mm. which is good in the Nigerian state for a government to reverse itself. They said, the military gave us the wrong information. And on that basis, we gave out uh, uh, the... And equally wrong information. Equally wrong information. They have not been found. Now, come back. That is the same military they said. We drew, come back. That is the same military they said we drew the checkpoint one week before the event. Mm. I'm according not saying there's the any sinister move. To, yeah. huh? According to the government. According to the government. Mm. Now, you know, this is not coming from the opposition. And this is not coming from the people. This is coming from those who have intelligence reports, the government itself. So we should take it very serious. If they said the military gave us the wrong information, so you ask yourself, why would the military give the wrong information to the government that they have been found. Why would they? Win? So that also strengthened the point of the opposition that why did they withdraw the security checkpoints in that area? Knowing fully well that educational facilities, especially girls' school, I mean, judging uh, from Chibok, hmm. should be a high brow hmm. for security watch. Now, look at what happened next. Connect the dot. The president and the military did not go after these guys. We heard there are choppers that could be on that, I mean, that could be there to look at how these guys are moving. From your office today, you can sit down and 
you know, throw GIF means and be watching the movement of things in areas. Mm -hmm. All of these I think the military should have access to. But we didn't hear that any of this was done. And the next we heard was from Mr. President, my president, who said that they were not going to go after those guys, that they would rather negotiate. Mm -hmm. And the minister came out to say, in two weeks, they will be out. Well, we, now, have draw to, your conclusion. we have to stress, too, we have okay. to add here, that the minister has come out to say that he was actually misquoted, that he did not put any timeline or time frame to it. Okay. We need to put, a, put that now, 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 if he said he was misquoted, mm. can people draw... Can people, two weeks is a definite thing. Please go watch it or go listen again. You will understand. Now, the several stories of saints and deniers will leave so much to be desired. So what am I saying here? Judging from the Tony Ezako story of how money was being taken from the government coffer to give the Boko Haram guys, to release the Chibo girls, mm. you can start drawing conclusion that this may be a means to take out some money from government, from government coffers to bring out these guys. Mm -hmm. And what is my take here? My take is very simple. Mr. President is surrounded by wolves whom, I mean, who should not be trusted, especially when it comes to sensitive issues like this. Mm -hmm. Because we have seen, you know, we have seen officials playing with the lives of Nigerians. How mm -hmm. can, how can, you know, how can an attack in a place happened, you have 70 persons dead, and the minister came out to tell us that it was because of a law, mm -hmm. as though as though killings were not going on before the law, I mean, before the law was put in place. So mm -hmm. for me, I think the Mr. You're President should look. You're referring to Benway? Yeah, yeah. Benway. Yeah. Okay. No. Uh, all right, Chance, Chance, let me come to you on this. The point there is, when the, okay, let, former, now former uh, the second U.S. Secretary Rex of State, Tillerson? Rex Tillerson, was here in Abuja on his last assignment before he was uh, dismissed. The president told him that we are ready to negotiate with these people or negotiate the release of uh, uh, Dapji schoolgirls. Mm -hmm. Now, in a situation where the, the government is now ready to negotiate with terrorists here and there, not even through third parties anymore, but is saying we are ready to negotiate, what position does it put the country or put security apparatus or even put the country and the government in the face of security challenges like this? It compromises our security, national or international security. Uh, because a government is supposed to be responsible and responsive and also to ensure that lives and property, you know, are, are safe. You are saying that when criminal activities are carried out, don't worry, let them do it. We will do something about it. <laughs> that's, that's where we are. Governments all over the world, we know that even some, some areas where all these issues take, take place, the government may be negotiating, but you won't hear anywhere. He can, the, he, the president can come out and, and, and talk tough. He said, wherever you are, we're going to hunt you down. And that's exactly how it goes. On the one hand, you might be negotiating, but you don't let the whole world know. You don't even let the criminals know that you are negotiating. What it means is that what we are seeing, as he has said, is like, it's like a written script that is familiar to everybody. It follows a, it follow, it follows a similar pattern. Look at Chibok. They came. They ferried out guests out of, out of a community. It, didn't, it took the government about two weeks to even respond. We started negotiating. Promises were make, had made about they will be released. Don't worry, yeah. they are coming. Our, our, we're getting our guests soon. Then all of a sudden, we heard that negotiations were made. Ransoms, I mean, ransom was paid, right. even though we don't know how much. The first batch was released. Again, we, they said, oh, Abanawi's uh, group is the one that is now negotiating. We're not negotiating with. Mm -hmm. Money is exchange hands. And you know that over time, going to schools in the northern area, especially the troubled Girls area, has become very lucrative. Yeah. So what do you do? And then this lucrative business, you are telling the criminals, we're not going to, we're not going to fight you. If you, if you take our guests, <laughs> we're going to negotiate. Mm. What it takes mm. us is that it has compromised our mm. security apparatus. Our don't security you think, don't has, you has think compromised. it's because government may just be under pressure? Okay. Under pressure? Yes. Okay. And, okay. and so it has Sorry. to, you know, Sorry. Um, come out Sorry. and, and let Nigerians know, look, we're not sleeping on this one. We're Dear doing friend. something. As Dear a matter friend. of fact, our response is different from, you know, uh, the last administration's response. It's not about response, it's in about the, the case, action. Let's even take that. No, let's even Chibok, take that. Okay. What we're doing, we're hands-on. And I'm not going to rest until these girls come back. As a matter of fact, another Dapchi will not happen. Okay, to the thank president. you. Now, in the first instance, that adaptation should not, should not, have should not happen happened. at all. Should not, happen at all. should not have happened at all. Why? We said this is a, see, this is a, this is not Kogi State. 
this is an area with heavy security threat and with heavy security presence. Mm. I mean, security personnel presence. Now, have you heard that the military headquarters discipline any official for that Daptry incident? Have you heard? No. See, this entire thing is showing some conspiratorial theory that we should condemn. For me, see, you would want to have a lot of sympathy for the president as a matter of fact. Now, I have explained to you mm. that, look at the script. It follows up. Intelligence Similar. report to a state government. It's not a joke that the military will say, Governor, we have found 80. Yeah. Don't worry. That is, that is deception. Now, he was saying something here. In cultivation theory and PR, one thing is very certain. The moment that you show me that, don't worry, this crime is no longer being condemned. You will strengthen some others you to do more. Them. Now, there are them. some folks in there, in, in those areas, who are jobless now. Because of the stand of the government, because of our modus operandi, they will lure themselves into this business because they are seeing that this is becoming good. Becoming Number two, they will cash you are they will killing cash education in that place. Girls' child um, education in that area. Mm. I mean, he's picking up, and this is happening. I bet you a time we come in that place that hardly would you see ten percent of girls there going to school. Well, in the case yes. of that, that we've heard that parents are saying, "Look, uh, that's it. I'm not no more school I'm not anymore because no, of that is indication. <clears throat> now, how, well, see, gradually we are killing the future. The same future we are waiting for. We are killing today. Hmm. Some years back, we kept looking for, "Oh, our tomorrow will be better." Hmm. Welcome to, to that tomorrow. tomorrow. Has come. The yeah. tomorrow is not better. And now, the future we think that will be better we are gradually killing not because not because we could not save the future but because we are deliberately i mean we are selfish and greedy deliberately now where am i going mm. in this we have shouted that mr president should please look into his cabinet this is a time to do that see there are several implications to this we have talked about the uh at the school enrollment uh, um, aspect, psychology, uh, 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 cool aspect. We have talked yeah. about the criminal tendency too. Let's talk about the economy tendency. Now, are you aware that in 2016 alone, Nigeria, or four states in the North uh, East, yeah. Benue, Taraba, uh, Nasarawa, Kaduna, lost $13.9 billion hmm. to, uh, 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 to earthmen mm. killing. Attacks. Mm. Let's call it earth men killing mm -hmm. because for me they are terrorists. I mean they are terrorists. If if they are if they have been said to be the fourth most deadly group, uh, deadly terror group in, in the, the world, world. Mm -hmm. we cannot be painting them by calling them. Oh, it's 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 just well, we earth have men not, We have not given them that tag as far as Nigeria is concerned. And why we haven't have we have given them? Called the spade a spade. Mm. Thank you. That is where <coughs> I'm, see, look at the narrative. First, a man said sorry. I've gone to beg them. I have paid them not to kill. That means he knows them. He knows them because they're not the faceless. Next, they said, oh, some external invasion. The next, they successfully sold us a dummy. You know, this is perception management. They said it is farmer's earthmen attack. How can you call it an attack? I am sleeping. Somebody came into my house. A man, I mean, open Slaughter. fire on me, slaughter people and burn down houses. And you call that attack. So... This looks like a conspiracy from the Nigerian state that should be looked at. And you look, again, we come back to Mr. President, who went to Benway to say, I'm not aware that IG did not stay in that place. Yeah. That tells you that the, that the security briefing they give this man every it's, day it's is 40. probably 40. So what does that tell? I mean, mm. I should expect him to act immediately, <clears throat> get some heads fired, and let this country move. We can't continue uh, uh, to kill uh, the future. All right, yeah. Charles, let me come to you mm. on this. The point there is, we have been on this issue for a long time. Boko Haram, Boko Haram. Now, the U.S. has said, Nigeria, we're going to, we're ready to assist you. Israel has said, Nigeria, we're ready to assist you. Mm -hmm. Britain, France, called all of them. They've said, Nigeria, we're ready to assist you. When it comes to assistance, galvanizing assistance from all of these countries, would you say, with what is going on now, that there is that assistance coming yeah, in? Yeah, they well, walk, the thing is, they, 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 there's, uh, there's, there's, uh, the one thing is to is to assure people hmm. that you want to assist them. Another is whether the people are receptive of the assistance. So you also look at it because this is this is <coughs> military, this is intelligence issue. Hmm. There were even had, we even discussed on journalist hangout long time, some time ago. We even had there was a time that even US came in 
and they said because of the area surveillance and so on, they were able to discover where some of the elements were, mm. and then plans were were made for uh, for uh, gassing that area. Okay, so all of a sudden, when they <laughs> went back over the very day they planned to do that, they saw the Boko the Boko Haram wearing masks, face masks. Mm. So the question is that how did information fit out to the book? It tells you that you have fit columnists within the yeah. system. Yeah. And, it, and it is, it's very, very easy to, to determine why. Because there are people who are feeding fat from oh. the system. Oh, yeah. You have defense contractors. You have people who, I mean, mm. as I speak now, Mike, I don't know if you have ever seen people, or even, even you have even cast the news concerning how much have been spent so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every year, I think even the defense, uh, defense budget is even taking a lot share. Has any auditor ever been, <laughs> ever been sent there to say, okay, let's audit how much this money is? You can't so audit security. It, it tells you that some people are feeding fat. And as long as they are feeding fat, as long as they have these loose, loose ends to tie, there's, is the, there's the possibility that this thing may end, I mean, may, may go on for, for so long. Except the person will now say, okay, let him be the C and C that he is. Is the commander in chief of the, mm -hmm. of the armed forces. Yeah. If anybody is found culpable, if anybody is found to be negligent of his or her duty, he depends to be fired. You don't need to look at the uh, Which is at exactly what mm -hmm. we have been told that any security officials or operatives who are found to be uh, negligent culpable or wanting in any uh, way uh, will face the music. And of course, in addition to that, service chiefs and the IG of police, Ibrahim Idris. Uh, they've been ordered by the president to take charge and give him daily briefings. You, you talked about um, the fact that you doubt very much if they're giving him the, the right, right kind of uh, information a that, he, right. that he requires. Yeah, do, you, do you think there's something really playing out here? Is that really why we're still in this vicious cycle? Uh, today is Kogi, another day is uh, Benway and, you know, uh, and all of that. Yes. <coughs> Are some people feeding fat from terrorism? Not only Nigeria, as a matter of fact. It's a, it's a global trend. It's a global really. thing. Uh, uh, but but I, let, I, let's I, allow you to answer that. Yeah. Uh, we have to go on a break now for mm -hmm. the news update. All right, glad to have you back. Uh, we have two gentlemen right here in the studio talking about the hope for the Dapchi girls. Uh, Charles Hideho is a journalist and public affairs analyst. And of course, Kola Wale Johnson, public affairs analyst. Thank you. Uh, thank you for remaining with us, gentlemen. Right. Uh, my point that I was trying to make earlier, a question actually, uh, the FG has said, of course, Mr. Buhari, uh, Mr. President, has said that he will punish security officers or officials who are found uh, to be responsible for the Dapchi incident. And as a matter of fact, he's relying on his service chiefs to give him daily uh, briefings. And I threw in something there about, you know, this whole conspiracy about people who really want this terrorist um, issue to continue because they're feeding, fat. they're feeding fat from it based on what mm. uh, Charles Idaho said earlier. Yeah, my take we're that. Going to make Are there your, people yeah. feeding fat from it? You know, my training as a strategic communicator, uh, I've learned something. Mm. I won't tell you straight away. This is my take. I'll give you the body of the story, then you can draw the conclusion. Mm -hmm. I watched a video <coughs> by BBC also, a report where the Nigerian uh, uh, forces were plotting where Shekau was, maybe to capture him or to kill him. And that they said they could not proceed at the time because they heard an order or they got an order telling them to retreat. Now, I said earlier that the military headquarters till now are yet to discipline anybody in the dark story because there are, see, there are complicities. You cannot remove a checking point that is close to the, to the school or less than a week before the incident. And this is not coming from the people. It's coming from the state government, who is not, of course, who also got the wrong information that the girls have been found when they have not been found. Well, don't forget that the military no. said that Dapchi uh, had always been a peaceful area, so there was really no so need they for They said uh, they had officially presence, handed, handed officially it over to the police. Handed over to the police. And the yeah. police said, no, that's not true. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so this this, this, no, this pendulum, no, pendulum no, swinging. No, exactly. no, 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 that yeah. is the conspiracy. Mm. Uh, you said, see, 
it's 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 getting crazy. You said number one that you have handed over to the party. They say no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that's not true. No. And, and these are supposed to be security agencies of working course. together, working together, the same purpose for the same aim and of objective. Of course. And look at it. If you leave the wrong, I mean, the lower ladder, the lower uh, wrong uh, 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 of the, uh, uh, the ladder, ladder mm -hmm. in the security establishment, you will probably find find the answers in the top guys because the allocations go to them. And the security uh, people feeding fat from, from this money is not new. How did two point something billion, or was it two point something, or 20 billion dollars? But they, Dazuki, mm. yeah. 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 so this is the money today. Military is no longer interested in taking over your government. Please take your government. Mm. Give us the insurgency. Just give us the money. Give us insurgency. <laughs> oh, give us the insurgency. No. <laughs> and we can continue <laughs> feeling fat. That's the, th that's that's the, the thing we talked about. Wow. Now, for once in our country, I think people of good conscience should rise. The amount of money we are spending on this can develop our infrastructure to a very large extent. Mm -hmm. And the media should take a very distinctive role. The role of the media is to set the agenda for public discourse. Mm -hmm. You tell the news and you tell the people what to think about the news. So there must be concentration, focus continuously on these issues, bringing every side to it. Now, exposing, exposing every single side to it. I was shocked when a journalist was arrested for exposing some fraud or some, mm. uh, some underhand dealings, yeah. and the media did not rally around this guy. In that he was in kept in that place. Case? Yes. Yeah. That he but was kept in that place for long. Now, that leads to a question. Are we actually having a free media in Nigeria? Charles, that's a question you need to respond you, to. You know, I, I was telling him why we're on break here that even the media, the media is heavily polarized. And then he also added uh, the, there was an addendum that because of the commercialization, commercialization of the media, of course, you find people, they, want, they, need, to set, they need to pay bills. So if the politician is coming, or a military man is coming who, of course, has uh, some questionable issues around him, and then he drops um, some, some juicy, uh, uh, maybe Ghana must go back um, on the desk of an editor. I mean, the, story, the, story, the headline changes. No. That's what we're having. That's the problem no, we're well, having here. Well, that is what uh, a scholar so, once said that every military or every media or every you know, the judiciary cannot develop more than more the than level the, of the of country. The country, because so if we is, all are complaining of Nigeria, because this is Nigeria, society, the society. media is Nigeria, the judiciary is Nigeria, yes. the oh, yeah. military the bankers, is Nigeria, the, bankers, the bank is Nigeria. So that when we complain of Nigeria not working, it's because these are the institutions Every that are not working. That part of but but I, think, I, I, th I think we can arrest the drift. Mm. How? The how is we have a leadership in the CNC, mm. okay? The box stops on his desk. For instance, the um, directive he, uh, we told he would give the IG, and then he also owned up to the fact that he was not aware that the IG didn't carry out. Mm. You know, we said yes. about exactly. language here, mm -hmm. yeah, whether mm -hmm. he failed or mm. The question is that what has been done about it? It, it didn't take, t I mean, it did, it, Trump didn't allow Tillerson tell tell us to come back before yeah. he fired him. Mm. Look, the thing is that if you must, if you must, if you must send, okay. send the right signal, at the if right time. At yeah. the right time. When mm -hmm. they have one, look, you, you are the same. You, you hire, you fire. You can mm -hmm. fire. You can make everybody sit up. Yeah. It, it will serve as a different. Mm -hmm. But when you begin to paper, begin to paper certain issue. Oh, come. Oh, I heard you didn't do that. Okay, take a look at the <laughs> issue of uh, of uh, Professor Adewale, uh, the head minister, mm -hmm. who suspended somebody who they said they had about 900, 919 million naira a fraud case yeah. mm -hmm. being investigated. Mm -hmm. What were we told? It was the minister that suspended him. Now, the, the NHIS, uh, remember, yeah. then he, the presidency called him to say, why? Okay, you did, please don't go, don't, don't see no more. Minister come, he has, he has said you don't see no more. Work mm. with him. What, what signal you send him? No, and they warned him, don't talk to the don't, media. Don't talk to the media. Just, you just go to your Please, go, go back and, 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 and then work together. You and then in the case, we, in the uh, case we have of had the uh, Benway, uh, the headsman killings in Benway, uh, reiterating again, or retreating again. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, retreating. Right. Retreating. Retreating. <laughs> retreating. Yes. yes. Awesome. That, look, my people, would you be kind enough to accommodate your fellow countrymen? Does that send any what wrong signals? What about the dastardly act? Yes, yeah. yeah, have sorry. you done something exactly. about that? Yeah. Now, let us, huh? can we please ah. get to the root of this? Yes. Look, okay. <laughs> Let's just try to in or interrogate. Let's interrogate. Yeah. Further. The first, 
the killing happened, and there was no compassion from the president. Mm -hmm. To fly a chopper to that place from Abuja, I live in Abuja, work in Abuja, won't take you more than, say, 30 minutes. If you cannot go, you have a vice president who can go. But the president did not go. He invited the man down to Asorok, and they told him, do not do mass barrier, and he insisted on mass barrier. And, of course, the state was against him. Are you aware that in a lot of places, headlines, 25, 30 persons killing no longer make any in exactly. those areas. Exactly. Exactly. The shock we value is go just, on as gone. if everything is okay yeah. when people are being killed. Two, you have the IG who was ordered there. He left and the man cried that this man did not spend 24 hours here. And the state, the federal government kept quiet. And he said, I informed the federal government about this attack at least one week before it happened. Two, please. And what did we hear? Flimping excuses. Mm. They said, don't mind him. He's playing politics. Border dash. Trash. Mm. You don't need to be an expert in the language of the sex pool to describe the, I mean, the border dash we're having yeah. in the system. Yeah. Now, fourthly, you have the police officer, not the ID, an assistant commissioner of police coming on air to say a sitting governor is a drowning man. man. That shows you that they are taking order from somewhere. Don't mind Other him. Than, leaving mm. him. I mean, leave him alone, neglect him. And the opposition feasted on it. So and in, turned into in, a political in all, party. In sorry, all, in, sorry, sorry, okay. wait. And the opposition now did it very well. They turned into a political party, going there to visit him. If your own cannot identify with you, we can... And, and, the and, the and they trivialize the whole issue. And they trivialize the whole issue. They trivialize the whole issue. They issue like that. Mm. People are being killed. Now, where does that stand for us as a nation? Aside from the fact that we have lost our values, the conscience, I mean, the human feelings is no longer there. We used to be our brother's keeper. Yes. Whoever is killed or was killed in those days, we rally around. Mm. We condemn We empathize. We sympathize. We empathize. So. Mm -hmm. Even as bad as if you bring... See, if I don't know the source of your wealth and you give me money, I wouldn't take in those mm, days. But today, bad. in fact, even if, you, even if I see you sitting like this, give me my portion and I'm okay. Mm. Now, the system and I won't blow the whistle. The whistle. <laughs> even the person blowing the whistle is blowing the whistle to get his share. That's what know that he's sincere enough. <laughs> so, back to what we are saying. Yeah. There is a heavy job on the CNC. We trust him. We, we know that he has that integrity. This is a time for him to move. Whoever he needs to see... When he went to Benue, I was also on a program, and they, and they asked me, would the IG be sacked? I said, he would not be sacked. Mm. And the man asked why. I said, come, there is a man who gave the IG a superior order. A counter order. A counter order that he is loyal to. And the person <laughs> controls your president. As long as the man controls your president, mm. the IG will be there. And that is what is I mean, happening. That is what is happening today. Profound. Now, where do we go to? The media. That's where were before. How do we arrest this issue? Now, aside from the fact that you know that the media is heavily commercialized, the media, I mean, was not a place before for heavy profit making. If you, if you have a station, look at what you're doing here today. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, people would may, may no one to think that this should be an ideal place to discuss all sides from Asia. You can live on private industry advertisement as long as you are lawyer to the people. And the moment the government knows that they cannot get their information across, once you are known as a trusted source, they will be forced to bring the money to you. Mm. So it is just a matter of surviving for a while. Then you make the profit. The media must take the lead. We must become the conscience of the nation all over again. Oh, all right. Well, uh, a 12-member committee has been set up to unravel what led to the abductions in Dapchi. We'll have to leave it there. Oh. We'll Commit have to committee there. again. Yes, <laughs> another, yet another mm -hmm. committee. Charles Deho. Thank you. Uh, Kola Wale Johnson, thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> thank, thank you. For thank you very much for coming on the first.